Hey Lions, I'm Andy Wellens and welcome to the LMU Sports Network. Men's tennis fought a well-earned victory on Sunday afternoon as they beat Arizona 5-2. The Lions jumped on top early as they earned the doubles point right out of the floodgates. Nick Borchenko then earned the first singles point by taking down the Wildcat on court one. And then Max Kaiser rounded out the concluding point by outlasting the Wildcat on court two. Up next for the Lions is a home match on Thursday as they host UC Davis at 9 a.m. at the LMU Tennis Center. Men's basketball had yet another close game that ended on the buzzer on Saturday afternoon. The Lions pushed through to earn their third straight win, defeating Pacific 67-66 to thanks to another defensive stand. Peter Herman recorded his program record tying seventh block with 1.2 seconds left to help the Lions hold Pacific. Brandon Brown led the Lions offensively as he scored 24 points. The Lions will now travel to the 2017 WCC Championship in Las Vegas as they have earned themselves the sixth seed. They will face the third seed BYU on Saturday, March 4th at 1 p.m. Women's basketball earned themselves a fifth place finish in the final WCC standings, thanks to their 75 to 64 win over Pacific on Saturday during their senior day. All three seniors, Shelby Amonetti, Jackie Johnson, and Leslie Lopez-Wood started the game for the Lions and contributed strongly to the win. Johnson led the Lions with 19 points, while fellow senior Leslie Lopez-Wood added 12 points of her own. The Lions ended the season on a high note, taking three of their last four games. They will now prepare for opening the tournament for LMU on Thursday, March 2nd, as the number five seed, taking on San Francisco at 8 p.m. Baseball competed in a four-game series this past weekend against Washington State. The series ended in a split as the Lions finished out the weekend by beating the Cougars 7-3 on the final game Monday afternoon. LMU was led by sophomore right-hander Cody Paeva on the mound as he dealt the first six innings, allowing only three runs. Phil Caulfield finished the game 3-for-3 three three as Billy Wilson reached the base three times, scoring each of those times for the Lions. LMU is now 4-4 four four on the season and will continue play on Wednesday as they take on Michigan at 6 p.m. at Page Stadium. We are now joined by Billy Wilson. Hi, Billy. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? So <laughs> talk a little bit about how the season has been going for you guys so far. Um, so, so far, uh, I think we've been really hot and cold. Uh, we've showed that we have glimpses of greatness on our team, and now it's just a matter of being consistent with it. Um, I think these first eight games that we've had is kind of a good benchmark for us, and uh, we're going to just kind of look down the road and, and hopefully like eight more games, ten more games, something like that. We can look back and say that we've really gotten better this year. So, Definitely. How's the team camaraderie this year, would you say? Um, c compared to last year, I think we're much, much better. Um, we make sure like off the field we're always hanging out with each other, spending time with each other because I think if we can bond and build relationships off the field, it becomes really easy for us to be a good team on the field. So. Um, like even today, we're going to go see a movie together, which is something that like has never happened in my three years here. So it's really exciting. What are you most excited for heading into the bulk of season? I think once conference starts, I think that's uh, where we can kind of show out because our preseason uh, games and series and stuff are all pretty decent teams and solid, solid teams. And I think that uh, once we get into conference, things are just going to get a lot easier for us. So uh, yeah, that's maybe yeah. What's um, kind of your team's approach heading into this game against Michigan on Wednesday? Um, for us, the biggest thing is uh, forgetting who we're playing and just realizing it's baseball. And at the end of the day, if we do our job, we're going to win. And uh, I, I think we had a little run in with Tennessee that kind of hurt us. And uh, we, we struggled with uh, playing such a big name team, I think. And you kind of have that fear in the back of your head. And I think this, this time against Michigan, against another good uh, top opponent, um, we're just going to play the game and not worry about who, who there's an, who's in the other dugout. So. Um, do you guys have any team slogans or mottos this year? Um, we like to focus on launching and catching barrel. Uh, that's our two things. Uh, okay. For the hitters, at least. I don't really know about the pitchers. But so far, it's been working. Um, I think it kind of creates a culture where we just want to focus on scoring as many runs as possible. and. That's kind of how we do it. So, And then lastly, um, what kind of mark do you want to leave on this season? I, I think uh, for Coach Gill, this is his ninth year now, and he hasn't won a conference championship yet. So uh, if we, we could be the team to do that, I think uh, we've got all the pieces we need. 
Um, offensively, we're, we're really uh, threatening for, for most defenses. Uh, from top to bottom, everybody can hit. Our pitchers are showing out this year, which is something that we didn't expect. But um, if they can continue to be consistent like they've been and we continue to be consistent offensively, I think we got to uh, – it's going to be exciting for the, for the end of the year. So. Well, thank you for joining us, and thanks for tuning in. And from the LMU Sports Network, I'm Andy Wallens. Bye -bye.